Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the launch of the new Future Leaders Programme. My name is Sarah and I am from Derry, London, Derry. I'm a graduate of the Amazing the Space Project where I created a pledge for peace with my classmates, which was an outline of the actions we would take to make our community, our island and the world a better place for all. I am now a part of the Future Leaders Program, working at the moment in a design group with other young people from across the island who have been involved in a wide range of programs with Cooperation Ireland. We are working with program staff to create a program of leadership training that caters to the needs of my peers. Being involved in this initiative gives me the opportunity to continue my pledge to build a better future by contributing to the design of a youth-led program that will help my generation to develop skills build positive relationships across communities and prepare us to be potential leaders of the future. It's an exciting time for us all in the design group and I'm delighted that you've joined us today for this event where we can tell you a little bit more about the program, the future plans and the great need now more than ever for programs like these. I would like to introduce you to one of my colleagues on the design group, Caitlin from Cork. Hi, my name is Caitlin. I'm 19 and I'm studying youth and community development in CIT now. I took part in the youth leadership programme here in Cork in 2018. I was part of a group of 24 young people who came together across three communities in Cork and cross board and a Belfast group to undertake a sports leadership training programme. The aim of this programme is to develop our skills and competence as leaders with the potential and belief to make real differences within our local communities. We decided to put these skills into action when we worked together on a social action project to promote positive mental health amongst our peers. We chose mental health as we'd all been affected by it and it gave us an opportunity to tackle an issue which is so important in all our lives. We worked together here in Cork and we shared our thoughts and plans with our friends in Northern Ireland. In the end, we developed several strategies which raised awareness around this issue. This included designing a resource booklet with advice and contact details for local support groups. When we were considering what should be included in the Future Leaders Programme, it highlighted to me the importance it is to provide young people with training to support each other. We need the confidence and experience to build relationships and to develop our support networks. We need to now more than ever mind our health and wellbeing. Cooperation Ireland is all about building better futures and one of the way we do that is through our leadership programme. Our leadership programme is about giving young people the opportunity to become positive leaders in their community. And we do that right across the island. The leadership programme is focused on developing young people's um, confidence, their ability to contribute to the community, to participate, to make decisions, to take on issues. We launched the Cork Youth Leadership Programme four years ago. And we had um, young people involved from Terence McSweeney College in Lockmahini, from Gove Community School, from um, Ballyfee Han and Bishopstown Freudian Group. And they come together and they are put through an intensive sports leadership training with Cork Sports Partnership, where they're equipped with the skills to lead um, sports activities in their community. Hi, my name is Shane Harris. I'm a student in Thornton's Max Sweeney at Community College. Hi, my name is Will Manny, and I'm a TY student here at Rock Community Community College. Uh, hi, I'm Neil McKay, and I'm a TY student. What I liked about Cooperation Ireland was that you can meet new people and experience the differences between the North and the South. Uh, what I liked about Cooperation Ireland was uh, the experience that we had up there, which is unforgettable, and uh, also meeting new people up there. I really liked the experience and uh, le learned the differences. The differences between the North and the South is that they have different parliamentary organisations and their accents. The difference is, the one that will stick out to everybody is the fact that they have a wall dividing the Protestants are Catholics and that they have separate schools for the Protestants and Catholics. Uh, the difference is that the walls are different uh, schools. 
the reason I got involved in this program was I could meet new people and it was a good experience. Uh, I got involved in the program to uh, experience something new and to meet new people. Yeah. For the experience and meet new people. I'm John Mums, I'm Chairman of Cooperation Ireland here in Cork. Um, we're involved in sponsorship of this program uh, primarily because we want to ensure that there's a greater link between uh, the South and the North, uh, that we actually don't waste the dividend of the peace process between uh, the Catholic community and the Protestant community up North, but also to actually open up awareness uh, of uh, the history and the present uh, of Northern Ireland uh, to uh, community groups and youth groups effectively in Cork. But it's also an opportunity for uh, those within the Cork area to uh, grow their leadership skills, uh, their self-confidence capabilities, their motivation to push forward. John McSwin, Ethan with Gas Networks Ireland Yard here. We are proud to support Cooperation Ireland, which is a wonderful initiative, cross-border initiative between uh, young people in the South and young people in the North. This is my second year being involved with it. And last year, it was wonderful to see the young people start off in September not knowing each other, not knowing who they were, not knowing other people, and yet to see them transition over the 12 or uh, twelve months or so of the project, to see them grow, develop, and blossom into truly wonderful young adults at this stage of the game. It's a fantastic program. I'm delighted to be involved with it and looking forward to still being involved with it this year. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, my name is Ruth and I'm the Youth Officer from Cooperation Ireland's Belfast office. So we have been organising Cork Exchanges for the last two years through the help of the Rory McDonough Trust who have funded the programme. So the purpose of these exchanges is to provide opportunities for young people from Belfast and Cork to come together and develop positive relationships and friendships that last beyond the programme and to find out a bit about each other's communities and the differences and similarities that may exist between those different areas of Ireland. So when working with young people from Belfast, we have found that a lot of our young people have never had the opportunity to meet young people from the south of Ireland or from across the border. And we also find that a lot of our young people also have never had the opportunity to actually cross the border into the south of Ireland. So by providing the opportunity for young people to participate in programmes such as the Cork Exchange, it helps address some of those stereotypes or fears that young people may have about meeting other young people from the south of Ireland or from across the border. And what we found is that the relationships and the, the, the friendships that are developed as a result of the Cork Exchange often last beyond the programme, with young people keeping in touch via social media or arranging meetups outside of the programme, even though they live so far apart. So we find that the exchange, the exchange programme offers young people the opportunity to address stereotypes that they may have of another community, uh, but to also learn about the issues that affect young people in different areas on the island of Ireland and maybe also to find similarities that can connect young people even though they have a large distance that exists between them in terms of, of miles. Uh, and we're from Cove Community College. We were doing the co cooperation early last year. Um, we got introduced to this by our year ahead, Miss Geary, and we had a talk from one of the people who worked around the cooperation early. Um, personally, what I benefited from from this experience was gaining loads of confidence. I probably wouldn't have had the confidence to be able to do mock interviews or whatever TY would have thrown at me last year, work experience, etc. Um, it was good to be able to be from people from Belfast and you know get to know what they're interested in and see the similarities of what the two of us you know are interested in and so forth. Um, which I was a great year for me and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I would never be able to do anything like speak out in front of people um, but because of cooperation I'm now able to speak out in front of loud like speak out loud in front of a bunch of people and I'm more confident in myself when going to meet new people and doing different things.
we do get a chance to talk about what's important to us, what's going on in our lives, get anything out that we need to talk about, anything bad's going on. Stuff like mental health, stuff that's been going on around our area, like, because mental health's like a big issue in our area, because there's been a lot of suicide and stuff that's happened recently. I also had the opportunity to participate in Brexit themed workshops exploring with peers from Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland the impact these were going to have on our lives. We got to engage with policy makers around these issues and we got to present our findings to politicians across the island. It was and is so important for young people to have their voices heard around issues that impact their lives. workshop on Brexit um, with young people. It's the second part of a two-day program. We were up in Irma. Amazing space is the reason we're here and thanks to them we are, uh, our voice is heard. If it wasn't for Amazing Space uh, there would be a lesser voice for young people, especially on such a matter. These are just a small sample of programmes that Cooperation Ireland has delivered in schools and youth clubs across the island. <laughs> Now across Northern Ireland, with our partners, Cooperation Ireland delivers social action programmes annually to across 16 separate communities. From a Cooperation Ireland point of view, it's very much about providing opportunities for young people from across Belfast. Part of the project is also about bringing young people to different communities where they wouldn't necessarily travel to. Taking part in the Pace 4 programme has increased my knowledge because it's, it's improved my under understanding. Like I maybe used to say something that people would find offensive and I wouldn't even bad an eye about it, it was just part of my normal language. So it's important to um, gain like a wider understanding of like people's views and how they feel about your culture and like how you feel about their culture and like talking out with each other. I gained for a start a lot of new friends. We're all the same type of person, we all like the same kind of things, doing the same things on the weekend and with so much in common that you wouldn't realise. I am so, so proud of every single one of those young people. They show great leadership uh, and the ability to give back to their community. What an achievement and what a credit they are. Well done. Well, after our initial success of the film, it was good because it gave a positive thing for our community like we've never had anything like that before and then it just showed that our whole community was behind us. When the young people first started the programme, it was they were highlighted as being involved in a lot of negative behaviour and using the time that they've been away and the stuff that they've achieved, the community are now able to see them in a more positive light and I think that opens up into their next journey, you know, of becoming mentors and future leaders. That is why I've become involved in a design group for the Future Leaders programme as it has given us young people and emerging leaders the opportunities to influence the design of a programme that will equip us and others with the skills needed to face all new challenges we are facing in this uncertain time at the moment. I am now going to introduce Peter Sheridan who is CEO with Cooperation of Ireland who will give some background on the introduction of Cooperation Ireland's Future Leaders programme. Hi everybody and um, thank you Caitlin for that introduction. I'm delighted to be part of the launch of Cooperation Ireland Future Leaders Programme. I'm particularly pleased that from the beginning in the design of this programme to the arrangements for this launch, it has been led by young people. That is the ethos of this programme. Albert Einstein said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. All of us could list the difficulties of today, of COVID, of Brexit, of mental health issues, of exam results, of border polls and so on. But in Cooperation Ireland, we committed ourselves not to accept conditions as they exist, but rather to take responsibility for changing them. We see the best way of doing this is to invest in our young people. The one thing each of you have that no one else has is you, your voice, your mind, your story and your vision. The Cooperation Ireland Future Leaders Programme is an, an opportunity for you to develop who you are through leadership training, through mental health training and much more. We want with your enthusiasm and passion for you to become role models and ambassadors for young people of the future. And of course the future is uncertain, but we hope through this programme you'll feel more equipped to adjust your own sails and handle whatever curveballs life may throw at you. So good luck and thank you. Now over to Siam.
Thank you, Peter. My name is Simon and I'm from Ballymun in Dublin. Last year, we had the opportunity to get involved in the Dublin Youth Leadership Program with Fingless Youth Resource Club. We completed our training, then went to Northern Ireland for a cross-border residential. It was so important for us to build relationships across border, especially with the uncertainty of Brexit. Unfortunately, our plans to create an environmental awareness campaign in the community, as well as host our northern partners in Dublin, had to be cancelled due to COVID and the lockdown in March. We as a group decided to continue to meet and support each other, even if now it was being done virtually. But it helped to keep us motivated and support those who are struggling with isolation. We adapted our social action to create a video on coping skills which we shared with our peers. Good. My body looks good, I feel good, so that's what helps me in the quarantine. For me personally, I believe the coronavirus is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I have time to learn new skills that are going to benefit me in the future, even start a business. You know, I'm still training, uh, I've become a bit more spiritual, and overall, it has had a good impact on my mental health, and I get to spend more time with my family. If there's any sports that you like during quarantine, do them. Learn new things, learn new skills. Hi, my name is Darian, and something that has helped me with boredom and just my mental health in general has been music. Um, I found that it's a really good escape and it's helped me with things like anxiety and it's just kind of helped me get out of my own head. So yeah, if you have any instruments at home, I would recommend you pick them up and learn how to play them or even just find a new music on the internet and focusing on that for a while. Um, it's something that's helped me in any ways, so yeah. Snoopers keeping me occupied during quarantine because you get to use your imagination and uh, you forget everything that's going on around you. Hi, my name is Zebra and something that's been helping me a lot recently is my console. My console has been helping me a lot by allowing me to stay in touch with my friends while we play games or sit down and watch films with my family. This is a great way to take my mind off of everything that's been going on and if you don't have a console, I still really recommend that you sit down and watch a film, even if it's by yourself or with your family. It's a great way to take your mind off of everything and just overall relax and allow the day to go by a little bit faster. challenging year with COVID, I gained so much from this program and it was the first time I went across border. I am delighted now with future leaders to have the opportunity to work with young people from so many different communities in the island. There are some in the group with more experience with programs like this than I have, but that is the great thing about future leaders, is that it brings together young people like me with other young people that I would have never had the chance to meet. Now we are working together, sharing learning ideas and getting a better understanding of each other. Now I would like to introduce Margaret Lucy, who will be managing the Future Leaders program. Thank you, Fian. Um, I am very excited at the potential of our Future Leaders, which is a training program to empower the next generation of lead, young leaders with the skills and the confidence to make a real positive influence on their own life and that of the wider society. 
As you will have seen, we have engaged young people from the very outset in this process, not only in creating the vision, but also in the design of the programme, which was also informed by the vast experience of Cooperation Ireland in the delivery of a wide range of youth-focused programmes over the years. We will be utilising a number of active and collaborative learning strategies to allow the young participants to explore on an all-island basis a range of themes, including leadership, positive mental health, participation and community engagement, relationship building, to mention a few. These will allow them to develop their competency in a range of skills, including communication, presentation, decision making and social. The young participants will be facilitated and mentored through a number of group activities and challenges not only locally, but also on a cross-border basis and internationally. Really inspiring in them the potential to see the difference that they can make and the active role they can play in the issues that are important in their lives. The model will take on an, a, a layered approach to training, allowing our young participants to build on the experience and the learning gained as they progress through, developing their capabilities and their understandings while challenging them to work collaboratively. For example, the very first module our design group will take on will be a first aid in mental health training program. Our young leaders will be encouraged to participate in social action and volunteer, developing their support networks for themselves but also for their peers in the community. They will explore their sense of belonging and relationship to others through the groups formed, the local groups formed, their North-South partnerships, and also the international learning clusters that will be developed with their peers in the US and the United Kingdom. This is a wonderful opportunity for the young people to experience new opportunities, face new challenges, gain new skills, gain accreditation, build relationships and work with communities they may never have had the opportunity to work with before. They will take on a range of challenges locally and together that will foster their own personal development um, so they are better equipped to adapt to and take advantage of the changes in society, the economy, employment and in life. We're facing a very busy time but exciting time and we're looking forward to it. And I would like to hand over so that you can hear a little bit more from our future leaders. So the residential this weekend, the big focus was setting up a youth council in Northern Ireland. So last night we were real focusing on what sort of shape this would take. A lot of decisions made affect us directly, so I think it's important we get our say and Believe it or not, we might actually have a good idea here and there. It's to give young people a voice. Friendships forming, we're actually developing and making peace in Northern Ireland as well. Have tons of youth projects, helping young people get involved in politics as well. Just so that we can, we can give a voice and empower young people. This is an amazing experience and I don't think I'd ever regret ever taking part of this. It's just all in all one of the best experiences of my life. I'm Leah, I'm from Finglas and I was involved in the Dublin Youth Leadership Group. Um, with this group I got the opportunity to speak, uh, got to speak to a lot of um, young people, people from different communities. Uh, for example, we did like a football match with Cork and we did an exchange, well, an exchange, but we went up to Belfast um, and met a lot of people from them communities. We we got, uh, so we went up to Belfast, we, they showed us theirs and we showed us ours and we just like explored each of those areas and got to know more about each of the communities. But from that, I gained like lots of like an understanding from different communities, you know what I mean? Even though we're from different areas, we have different accents, we have different, like a lot of things, you know what I mean? We really, as a whole, like had a lot, most of our stuff in common, like there wasn't much that we didn't as young people. 
so we got to learn a lot about that um uh do you know what I mean? and then we got to um for a while we learned how to lead groups for our young people and like younger kids and people we did learn how to do icebreakers how to make games up in the spot how to keep the game interesting keep the uh p- keep the kids engaged and stuff like that i thought it was a really good thing we did we got to learn a lot from it uh these kids were like really they were really well, like well behaved kids and it really showed us how to like this like step forward it showed me at least to step forward like in a group and take charge instead of just laying back and expecting someone else to do it we also um from the uh belfast kids like that peace build and like how a lot of like them walls are up and there was a lot of like the troubles were a really hard time do you know what i mean it's affect, affect a lot of the kids nowadays in northern ireland and it's very hard to see past the differences when there's a lot of hardships but the people we met they saw past all that they got to be better do better so i thought it was really really good and just being involved in the community like as a whole like i was i really enjoyed it uh we did like a uh, like an action project we had loads of plans and stuff like that we had uh just being a member of the community you know um this future uh futures leaders design group basically what i'm involved in well you know like a lot of the other groups we had ideas as i said we had ideas we wanted to do stuff we wanted to make change but with this group we can make change we can do stuff we can make ireland or the world or somewhere even one person's life better that's all you can ask for isn't it you know what i mean like that's all you ever want is to make life better either even if it's for yourself for your family for your community for your country that would be the best thing and it doesn't really matter what anything else does if it can make and help people then that's all that really matters um I also would like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to get something out of it. Like, helping people is lovely and all. And you do get, you get like a confidence and a boost from it. But I think tra- the training, like, it should have, I'm not too sure, but it should do something to help us. So that way we can forward our education and forward our lives as well as, a, as young people. Thank you. Hi, my name is Dan. I am, I am from Castledale, Northern Ireland. I was involved in the Young Advocates and got the opportunity to participate in workshops to do with diversity and barriers that disabled people face. I also had the opportunity to sh- showcase your chair sports, which for me was a, was a great way to let others see what it's like being in a wheelchair, even though for them it was very brief. <laughs> I gained a lot from this experience and this has given me confidence in needing long people to um, so I can do this now with better ability as I feel more able. Being involved in this program has enabled me to be part of the community in ways I would otherwise not have been. So I have learned to be respectful of everyone regardless of the background. I have been involved in the Future Leaders Design Group because it will build my confidence, I gain qualifications and it's always good to challenge myself. As a wheelchair user, I am hoping to highlight a free future user space and also encourage the possibility of training on disability awareness. I am so thankful I had the opportunity to be part of this program. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Connor and I am from North Belfast. I am so looking forward to becoming a Cooperation Ireland future leader and especially joining others from across the island as we go through the programme, which is starting here and now. Having been involved with Cooperation Ireland in the programme design team for the past few months, I can see the efforts that goes into making the programme 
for young people. I can also say that it takes a lot of money to plan, organise and make things happen. I therefore am very grateful to all ambassadors who have already come on board to support Cooperation Ireland and all new programme recruits. Your financial support and guidance gives Cooperation Ireland the independence needed to enable the young people to have a say in how the programme is planned and delivered. Without your support, this programme simply could not happen, especially in these uncertain times. Can I thank all the ambassadors who have taken the time to join us today for our launch? Cooperation Ireland's USA Chairman, Jim Clarkin, Justin McGreevy of the Henderson Group and Norbrook Laboratories. Liam Nuggle will now speak to you about becoming Cooperation Ireland's Future Leaders Programme Ambassadors. Thank you all. Hello everyone and uh, I'm really pleased to be here to talk about the Future Leaders Programme. I speak to you today as not only uh, the Chairman of Cooperation Ireland in the United States but also as an Ambassador which I'm privileged to be an ambassador for the future leaders. Now, why do I think this is important? Well, I'm the father of four young people. The future of Ireland and Europe and the world is young people. And I think this future leaders program, if you think about it, we get 500 great young leaders working on the island of Ireland, but influencing, and this is the key thing, influencing how many other people Maybe they'll influence 10, 20, 50 people. Think about that. Thousands of young people will be influenced by these ambassadors and future leaders to do the right thing for the country. So I would implore you all to put all your best efforts behind this. I think it's a great program for not only London and Dublin and Belfast, but here also in New York, which gives it this great international uh, appeal. I'm looking forward to seeing the program develop. I'm looking forward to meeting all the future leaders and uh, I think this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. Thanks very much, happy to be part of it. Hi everyone and welcome to the Future Leaders Program on behalf of the Henderson Group. My name is Justine McGreevy and I'm the head of the Training Academy for Hendersons. We would like to wish you every success in your future learning journey and hopefully I will meet some of you along the way. Good luck everyone! Hello, my name is Liam Nagel. I'm Chairman and CEO of Norbrook Laboratories. I'm delighted that Norbrook are partnering with Cooperation Ireland on their new online Future Leaders programme. At Norbrook, we see young talent as the key to our future. Right across our organisation, we have programmes that uh, brings apprentices on board and college graduates and mentor and mentor them right to our organisation development structure. We are proud to support this programme. It will provide invaluable skills and experience for young people across the island of Ireland. As a large employer, we are always looking for opportunities for our people uh, to develop their leadership potential and ensure they can work well in teams. As I said, we are proud to continue supporting youth development and look forward to watching participants progress through the programme and congratulations to, to you all. All I know is that I'm down with the GOD, you know GOD. Yeah, you know Cooperation Ireland's mission to foster reconciliation remains critical. What better lesson can we teach our children about what can be achieved when all sides work together than this dream of peace that became a reality? My name is Joe Duffy and I am from Belfast. I am here today to round things off. Firstly, I would like to thank the staff at Cooperation Ireland for their continued patience in guiding and supporting us through the launch of this very important programme for young people. I would also like to thank Seismic Advance for providing the online form and the expertise to enable people from this island, our neighbouring island, and from all the way across the Atlantic to participate with us here today. 
This program is not just about us, the young people. So I would encourage all of our ambassadors to continue to involve themselves as much as possible in mentoring, offering sessions and workshops, and delivering training, guidance, and advice for employment prospects. In these times, we need all the help that we can get. Thank you for coming to our virtual launch, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to become a Cooperation Ireland future leader. Finally, during the summer, Cooperation Ireland was approached by Tourism Ireland to produce a song from young people from all across the island that despite the COVID-19 pandemic, Ireland was still thinking about those who love to visit our shores. And true to form, our young people delivered. I leave you now with a song of hope and friendship. Oh